Greetings, my most amazing artists. Today, we're going to draw a fishbowl. The art supplies that you will need are paper, black marker or crayon, and crayons or colored markers. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw some fish and some other objects in a fishbowl. So this is our, one of our vocabulary words, fishbowl, a bowl where fish live. So the first thing I'm going to do is way at the very top, I'm going to make a long, skinny, 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 skinny oval. And you can see that I did not go all, start all the way at the end of this page in here, and here, and the space is about two fingers wide. And now watch, I'm going to make a curve line that goes all the way to the edge, it comes all the way down like this barely curved. Feel free to get a little extra help from some helpers in your class. And there is my fishbowl. Now, the first thing we're going to do after that is we're going to make the top of the water. So we're going to make some waves like this. It looks like my fishbowl is really full of water. And now we're going to make some objects down at the bottom. So maybe we'll make lots of circles, lots of circles. You're going to have to be really busy making a lot of circles. Later, you can color these circles in. These are the beautiful colored rocks that you see at the bottom of a fishbowl. You make as many as you want. The more you have, the more you'll have to color in, but that's okay because then it will be so beautiful. Only at the bottom making some medium ones, some small ones, and a few large ones. This is kind of empty over here, so I'm going to add a few more. There. Next, I'm going to make show you how to make a castle, because often in a fishbowl, a fish might need a place to play, right? So I'm going to show you how to make a castle. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hand right here, because I want my castle to be this wide from here to here. So I'm going to make a line going up, that's vertical, and see, there it is. And now I'm going to make one on the other side. I'm going to make one right here. And I'm going to look and see if they're the same height. I think this one needs to be a little bit taller. Good. Now after you've made those two lines, you're going to make a short horizontal line that goes out this way, that's right. And then at the top of this line, you're going to make a short horizontal line that goes out to the left. So they go out. Right now they look like upside down, uppercase L's. Next, I'm going to make a straight vertical line, not as tall as this, about like that. And maybe one over here too. There you go. Good. And now, I'm going to make some lines going across that look like this. Across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up. You should end going up and then connect like that. Now this castle might need a door. You could even draw a fish in there later and some windows. They're curved windows. If you want to add a few lines, a little detail, yeah. Now I think I might need some seaweed in my fish bowl. So I'm going to show you two ways to make seaweed. I'm going to make one that reminds me of the letter S. So I'm going to start way at the top and I'm going to make it, this line looks like it's really straight, it's a little bit curved, but look, it almost looks like an S and touches the rocks just like that. It's a, like an S stretched out. Now I'm going to make another line that starts, I think I'll start at the bottom, and I'm running this line right alongside the line I just drew. And when I get to the top, I'm going to come to a point like this. Perhaps I need some more seaweed just like that. Maybe I'll make one like that. That was not like an S, but it looks rather nice. Maybe I'm going to make a curved one. You know, seaweed, it moves with the water, so it, it can move in any direction you want, so really it's kind of hard to make a mistake with seaweed. Here's another kind of seaweed. Make a curved line, and then think of ovals. There's an oval, 
and it's positioned diagonally on that line. Diagonally, I'll write that word, diagonal, diagonal, is a line that goes up and to the side at the same time. And I'll put some on this side. Hmm. I like the seaweed better, actually. I think I'm gonna make another one. This one's really kind of crazy wavy. Now, so we've made our colorful rocks. Well, they're not colorful yet, but they will be. And we've made our castle, and we've made some seaweed. Now, the only thing we're really missing now are some fish. So I'm gonna show you some ways to make some fish. You can make as many as you want. I'm gonna start with one right here. And I want you to notice that it's an oval. There you go. An oval is just like a circle that you take the sides and you pull it out like that. See, this is stretched out. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to make fish fins and tails. I think I'll make another oval up here. Do you see how he's a little bit higher in my fish bowl? So I'm gonna make an eye with a circle, with a dot in the middle. Make some little lips. He's very cute. And now I'm going to make some curved fins and tails. So watch this. A curved fin at the top that's slanted back towards his tail. And one on the bottom that's slanted back. Looks like the letter U. Now watch this, I'm gonna make two more back here. One here and one here. They kind of match his fins, don't they? So I'm gonna show you how to make one over here now that looks a little bit different. Make his eye. Maybe he's looking up at the water. Maybe he's waiting on some fish food. Maybe he's hungry. And there is his lips. And now I'm going to show you a different way to make fins that have points. Watch this. Diagonal line. Diagonal line there. It's kind of pointed. So the fin, it's almost like the letter V upside down. And look, here's the letter V, except for it's slanted back towards the tail. This reminds me of the letter M turn sideways. See, drawing can be very easy if you think of things that you already know. Now you might need some designs on these fish. Oh, I almost forgot the gills so the fish can breathe. And maybe a few bubbles. And maybe I will make stripes on this fish. Maybe spots on this fish. You can make designs, any kind of designs you want on your fish. Now I'm going to make a fish that is hiding behind the seaweed. Now when you do this, that's called overlapping, and that's a very advanced drawing technique. So I'd like you to make your drawing more advanced by drawing a fish that's behind the seaweed. Look at this. Do you see the oval? Do you see how the oval is behind the seaweed? See how I did that? It doesn't matter which direction I make that fish swimming. I think I'm going to make him here. And I don't see all of his fin, do I? Don't see really much of that one either. Maybe I'll make some stripes on this one too. Oh, and let's see. Look at this. Wait. I only see half of an oval. That's because that fish is inside the castle. We know that the rest of his body is behind this castle door right here. Now, you can make as many fish as you want. The next step is to color it all in. Now, I'm just adding some finishing touches to my fish bowl. As you can tell, I've colored in all of the rocks at the bottom with a variety of different colors. I've colored in my seaweed. I used a dark green and a light green. I've colored in my fish, and I've also colored in all of the water. I left this part white because that's air. This is water. Now, I was really sad that when I was coloring so carefully, I got out of the line a little bit. And if that happens to you, here is what you'll do. You can just take your paper and you can cut the outside off. I still want my black line to show though. Just like this. There. I'm really proud of my fish. What do you think? I think now it's time for you to make your own fish bowl. 
get started.